Hi, I'm Chris Lubkman, longtime Whittler. I've written a number of books on what to do with a pocket knife and tree branches and other bits of wood. Uh, I have five that have been done by Fox Chapel Publishing and three before that. And what we're going to talk about today is how to sharpen and hone a knife. Because if your knife isn't sharpened or honed right, it just is not going to work. It'll be very frustrating. So, here's a stone. And here are some worn out, worn out, worn out bits of wet or dry sandpaper. The kind they use when they're finishing car bodies or doing metal work. Uh, this little piece of wood here, I've had for maybe 30 years close to 30 years, and it has what's left of some wet or dry sandpaper on each side. This is a paint stir stick, and it has some sandpaper on, on uh, both sides. And I'm just gonna show very quickly what I do to sharpen a knife. There are m many, many ways to sharpen a knife. You can spend a lot of money on knife sharpening systems. Uh, I'm just gonna tell you what I do and what I've been doing for close to 50 years. Many years ago, I was doing a carving demonstrations and I'd forgotten my little sharpening stone. But I did have a little piece of scrap sandpaper torn off a ping pong paddle. Uh, ping pong paddles used to have sandpaper on them, I guess. And anyway, it worked. It got my knife sharp. So ever since then, I've been using sandpaper of one type or another, emery cloth, wet or dry sandpaper, to get my knives really, really sharp. But if the knife is, is uh, really dull, then you obviously have to get it reasonably sharp with a stone. So here's a stone, and what I use, I use a circular motion. I'll use a circular motion like this. Then on the other side, okay, and you go until you get the knife reasonably sharp. And then I'll go to very fine wet or dry sandpaper. Now this is a sheet of 400. And uh, you can cut a little strip like this and put it on a paint stir stick. And after you go from the stone, you'll use the sandpaper, do the same thing. And then to get it finer and finer and finer, then you go to a more worn out sheet of sandpaper. This thing here might have started up. This started out as 400. It's probably about... Uh, 1500 now then you go to something that's even more worn out don't throw away the old uh, scraps of paper save them the more worn out they are the finer they'll they'll uh, get your knife okay then super 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 worn out this one here is probably like 5000 grit and I'll use that And then we go to a piece of leather. Which is, this has um, some strapping compound on it. Uh, but even a part of an old leather belt from Goodwill or Salvation Army, if you get a real leather belt, uh, use that. And, and then you wipe it. And you don't turn. You don't turn the blade. You keep it flat. On it. But the important thing is to make sure your knife is sharp. Let me read you from one of my books. The 10 rules, 10 extremely important rules of carving. Number one, make sure your knife is sharp. Number two, your knife must be really sharp. Number three, don't try carving with a knife that isn't sharp. Number four, before Once starting to carve, wait, check make sure knife the sharp. knife you carve with is sharp. 10, if there's any remaining doubt, refer back to rules one through nine sharp knife, you'll have lots of fun. Dull knife, you'll be frustrated to death. You'll do all kinds of bad things. Uh, you'll be grumpy. If you have a dog, you might be mean to your dog. Uh, if you're married, you might have a fight with your wife. I don't know. But don't try carving with a dull knife. So sharpen your knife. Have fun. See you next time. <music>